Bob. And we are just passing through. And this is our next exit. Come and join us. And you'd be joining us back in Yuma. In our stiff to bricks. Yeah, we're back from the rally. We had such an awesome, awesome had a time. Wonderful time at the rally. We met so many people. In fact, we've got a couple now, uh, Ron and Sharon. They're in the RV lot just across the street. They're going to be here for a month. We've yes. had a number of couples come by, stop, visit, have yes. dinner. It's a, it was just an awesome experience. And we hope, hopefully, we get to do it again next year. Absolutely. But we want to say thank you to all those that joined oh, us at the rally and that helped and put it on. Oh, absolutely yeah. helped us immensely. We had such a wonderful time and what a wonderful group of people. And we were, uh, one of the couples that helped us was Tom and Lori. Yes. Of Tom and Lori's RV Life. So anyway, we were watching Tom and Lori's video today. Yes. <laughs> and they did, they took some kind of, I don't know what this is, 30 question RV challenge and stuff. And some of the questions are kind of goofy. Like, do you, would you rather have a back inside or a straight inside, oh, drive through side? Yes. That's like saying, would you like to marry an ugly wife or a pretty wife? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where they come up with some of them questions, but they challenged us to take it. So we took so it. So we took it. We've got Tom and Lori. They're reading all the questions to us. Yes, yes. And But they took it, too. So we've got answers. Their answers are totally different. A lot of them are totally different <laughs> than ours. But, I mean, what that, and to be honest, what we did is Pearl and I separated. We didn't we talked want to about it. what each other said until after. Yeah, because Tom and Lori pretty much agreed on everything, but right. I'm wondering, do you really agree on that much, or are you just Not doing that because of the video? So I said, Pearl, you, <laughs> if you would, you cook breakfast, I'll set up a camera in here for you, Right. and then I went out in the shop, and I took it, and then we got back together, and yeah. we disagreed on probably half, not 25%, <laughs> yeah. but that's what makes it work, I think. You know, I'll get to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. You can be the who beast. you want to be. Oh, you can beast. be beauty. <laughs> so anyway, that's what this video is about. We took the 30 questions, and Tom does all the talk and asking questions. Yes, yes. Lori's a sweet one. You want to be sure and go watch their uh, <laughs> Tom yes. and Lori's RV life. Yes. And hear her answer. She she's uh, pretty good at that. They are a great couple. Yeah, they are. And we're going to go to Mexico with them. Yes, we here will. In just a couple of days, I think. So anyway, after we take this quiz, I think what we'd like to do, we're going to kind of go over our route that we're going to take this summer, and we're going to pro hopefully we're going to do a lot more videos. We're going with another couple, Jeff and Lori, so we're going to put our route up afterwards, yes. after this video, and if you guys are along that route, somewhere close to it, if you've got a secret boondocking site that Absolutely. you can get a big RV or two big RVs into, Absolutely. we'd love to get some GPS coordinates. Or So we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But I just wanted to throw it out there in case you have any interest or maybe you're going to be up in that area. Or maybe even just meet up one day at a boondocking place or something. Absolutely. I know several people from the rally are going to be up there. Yes. So we may meet them as well. So anyway, here's our 30 questions. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you in just a few minutes. So there you go. There's our uh, our 30, 30 boom, boom, boom. this or that. Yep. And we're supposed to nominate three people, but I can only think of two people I'd like to nominate off the top of my head. One would be Bob and Pearl, next exit. Yep. And the other would be Openoma, yep. Camping Adventures. So Oh Home on the Road. There you go. You guys. 30 so. questions, 30 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> But well, we're going to try and do this as quickly as possible. All right, number one, campground or boondocking? Campground. I like the full amenities and the nice showers. Campground or boondocking? Boondocking. We, uh, we've been in campgrounds for the last three years. This summer, we're going to go up to Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana, and boondock. So we're looking forward to some boondocking. Number two, Class A or towable? Class A. I do the driving. I'd much rather drive the motorhome than a pickup trying to tow a camper or, an, or a fifth wheel. Class A. It's just so much easier and faster, and we like traveling together in the coach where we can communicate. Pearl likes to drive. I like to sit and navigate and look at the computer and just mess around. Class A. We really enjoy. Yes. Gas or diesel? Diesel. Diesel. <laughs> Or 
diesel, I think. Uh, it's more expensive. It's more uh, problems, but I think we choose diesel just because that's what we've got, and it has worked pretty good. The diesel engine transmissions work great. Composting toilet or black tank? Black tank, but it doesn't matter to me all that much. That's Bob's headache, not mine. Composting toilet or black tank? Black tank, no doubt. Composting toilet seems like to me a marketing thing. I... Solar or generator? So, solar. I'd rather have solar. Solar or generator? Generator. We're we put solar on the rig, but it's more for the reason of not offending people close by us. The generator, you can do everything you want to do with the generator. It just works better, and uh, it's more financially affordable, in our opinion. Generator. Slides or no slides? Slides or no slides? Slides. I like the space. We had a 40-foot Class A with no slides. We thought that was perfect for full timing, but once we got our coach and has four slides, the living room has two opposing slides, that for full-time living, that's great. Thousand trails or KOA? Oh, thousand trails. Absolutely thousand trails in comparison. Thousand trails, just because it makes it more affordable for us. KOA is great when we go special places, but for us to live full-time in the RV, we can't, can't really afford uh, the KOAs in the public campgrounds. Thousand Trails financially works great. Boondockers welcome our Walmart parking lot. Walmart, I guess. We've never tried Boondockers welcome, but we just got it, so I'm anxious to try. Boondockers welcome our Walmart parking lot. Walmart parking lots. Uh, Boondockers Welcome is just to go there, spend the night, and Harvest Host, the same thing. For us, it's just a place to spend the night. Walmart, you don't have to deal with anybody. You park there, you go in and do your shopping that you always need to do, and then come back out into the parking lot. We Walmart works great for us. Number nine, State Park or National Park? National Park. We've been to Zion, and that's definitely one of our favorite places, so I'd say National Park. Uh, I guess we have to say State Park. We took our last 40-foot uh, Class A into Yellowstone, and we've taken both of them into Zion, but except for those two, we haven't parked in any national parks. State Parks seem to be more, we've stated the number of those, and we can fit in real easy, so State Parks. Beach or mountains? Beach. We definitely enjoy the sunsets on the beach, and we just like being by the water. Beach or mountains? I've always been a beach person. I'd much rather have the beach if I could do it without all the people. We're going to be doing mountains this summer, so I'll know more then, but beach. Propane fire or wood fire? Wood fire. It just, the ambiance is so much better. propane fire simply because Pearl and I once it gets kind of evening and dark we start a fire and then about the time it gets roaring really good and we're enjoying it shortly thereafter we're ready to go inside and we got all this wood on fire and we don't have a way to put it out or we hate putting it out and wasting all the wood and stuff uh, so propane for now I think is what we would do we enjoy the wood fire that's much more enjoyable than putting wood in and the crackling but uh like a lot of things, we're too old for wood fires. We don't stay up late enough to let a wood fire bar burn long enough. Dogs or cats? Both. <laughs> Although we only have a dog now. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I have no use for cats. They're okay for somebody else. They're great animals, but I got no use for them. Litter box, no. Tow vehicle or no tow vehicle? Tow vehicle. I want to be able to go see the sites, and if I need to go to the store, I want to have the convenience for that. Tow vehicle or no tow vehicle? Tow vehicle. 
I mean, you have to have a vehicle to whenever you park. We're more into full-time, even though we're part-time now, but we consider ourselves full-time almost. And uh, you got to have a way to go to do, see the different sites and go shopping. So you got to have a tow vehicle. Bucky's or Loves? Loves. I like the convenience of going to a truck stop and getting our diesel fuel and just getting back on the road and heading to the campground. Bucky's are love. We've been to one Bucky's. It is awesome. It's an amazing place, but Love's is more our deal. We don't like uh, buying the fast food at, like at Bucky's or the pricing inside the store. The fuel pricing is good, but Love's is pull in. It's a truck stop. Pull in, get your fuel, and go on where you're going to go. I don't really care about the touristy part. Teen, desert or snow? Desert. I don't want to be where it's cold. <laughs> Desert or snow? Desert. Definitely desert. Pull through or back in? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have a pull through. <laughs> pull through or back in? Pull through. No doubt about it. 42 foot class A pull in a car. It's just so nice to pull in there. And I've had some less than pleasant experiences backing up. S'mores or hot dogs? Campfire hot dogs. S'mores or hot dogs? Hot dogs. I got no use for marshmallows. I don't have much use for hot dogs either. 18, fishing or hiking? <laughs> I'd rather fish to be honest, but I like hiking. Fishing, I think. I enjoy fishing. I've never catch anything, but we always had a boat. We'd always go fishing. It's pretty relaxing, a lot of fun. I don't do it too much anymore because I'm not very good at it. But if I was going to go with somebody that knew about fishing, that'd be pretty good. Uh, camping alone or camping with friends? Camping with friends. Camping alone or camping with friends? Camping alone. Is by far, I think, our favorite. We just like doing stuff at our own pace. But this whole summer, we're going to be going with another couple, Jeff and Lori, and camping with friends. And that's the first time we've done it long term. So we may change our mind. But right now, camping along, although we're really looking forward to uh, this summer with Jeff and Lori. Winter in Florida or winter in Arizona? Arizona. We enjoy the desert. It's been fun. Winter in Florida, no doubt about it. Love Florida. Uh, Berkey or no Berkey? Berkey. Uh, Berkey or no Berkey? Berkey. We, uh, we don't, still don't use it. We prefer to have bottled water, but we've got pretty comfortable with using the Berkey with uh, potable water we get at the campground. We did it the last couple of months uh, before we bought our house. Washer dryer in the rig or laundromat? <laughs> washer dryer in the rig. I like the convenience of having it right there and I can do it anytime, even if it's all day. Washer dryer in the rig or laundromat? Washer dryer in the rig. I, I cannot believe people don't choose that. A lot of people, I think even Tom and Lori choose laundromat, but a uh, uh, washer dryer in the rig. Uh, air fryer or Instapot? Instapot. I don't have an air fryer. I want one. I'm going to say Instant Pot. We don't have an air fryer. We might get one and we may change our minds, but Instant Pot. Planner or spontaneous? Planner. I want to get all my things in the rig that I need. Planner or spontaneous? Planner. We definitely plan out. Usually have several months planned out. And uh, we may change it. We change it a lot and cancel reservations and stuff, but. I like knowing what's going to be happening down the road. Number 25, remodeled interior or you leave it as it came from the factory? Change furniture. <laughs> Number 25, remodeled interior or you leave it as... Remodeled interior. Now, if we bought an older rig and we wanted to fix it up, that's a different thing. But ours was only seven years old. It's an 07. 
and we haven't added any pictures, we haven't changed hardly anything. It's just fine. It's made for old people, and we're old people, so it works good. Shower in the rig or in an RV bathhouse? Shower in the rig, I want my own space. I have never took a shower in an RV bathhouse. We full time for three years, I got just no use for that. So, shower in the rig, that's what it's made for. Clam tent or awning? Clam tent. We like our clam tent a lot. Uh, awnings are good, but clam tent has just got so much more to offer. We love clam tent. You can stake it down real good. It can take a pretty big wind. And you're always, any breeze comes up, you're afraid that big old awning is going to blow off. Move weekly or move monthly? Monthly. Move monthly. Uh, move monthly. We like to get set up, put out our outside kitchen, and, uh, and then stay for a while. As long as we can, usually. Hot spot in the rig or RV park Wi-Fi up? Hot spot in the rig, preferable. Blackstone. Hot spot in the rig, no doubt. We like being in control, having our own stuff, knowing what we're going to have. Uh, hot spot in the rig don't always work great, but at least that's what we got with a Wi-Fi uh, cell phone booster. Blackstone or charcoal grill? What's a blackstone? It's a flat griddle. Blackstone. Bob does the barbecuing, cooking on the Blackstone. Gives me a break. <laughs> Blackstone or charcoal? Blackstone. No doubt about it. Blackstone is awesome. Scott and Tammy turned us on to Blackstones, and I don't, I'm not good at cooking outside. I don't like to cook outside, but with the Blackstone and then with our uh, Davy Crockett smoker, we enjoy outside cooking. We set it up every time, and we always buy food so we can cook outside. Well, when it comes to these 30 questions, I was quite surprised that we disagreed on as many as we disagree on. And disagree maybe is not the right word, but we definitely had some different answers and different uh, well, thoughts. Some desert. answers I knew, like I knew you would say desert and I'd say Florida. <laughs> There's several of them I knew was going to be different, but uh, it's pretty interesting. Or for us, it's pretty yeah. interesting. It was fun. So anyway, we're going to be going, here's a map, and as you can see, we're going to take off in... Uh, the end of March, 1st of April sometimes, depending on the weather and the temperature. And we're going to go to Joshua Tree, Yosemite, Lake Tahoe, and then we're, we're going to take a couple of days and shoot up to Custer, South Dakota. That's where we'll, we'll meet Jeff and Lori. They're headed to Tennessee to visit for several weeks, and then they're going to head up to Custer, South Dakota. And we're anxious to meet up with them and do a yeah, little bit of it visiting be a lot and of do a little bit of traveling with them. This is new to them and new to us. This, yes. I mean, we've boondocked in Arizona a fair amount. Yes. But this is all new. We don't know. We haven't done any boondocking in National Forest. Right. And uh, we're going to give it a shot. If they've got a Jeep, so that's going to help us to scout out stuff. Yes. But if you guys have been up there, if you've got some good boondocking locations or good state parks or national parks that uh, we can fit in, I don't think there is many. A lot of state parks. We've got some state right. park reservations. State, yes. But we'd appreciate that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty much it for now. And uh, we'll try to put out a couple more videos before we take off. Yes. We're trying to get the rig ready. We've got all the fluids changed and the filters changed. And we've got the slides working on. We've got great luck with getting our slides fixed. Thank, good. Thank you. Yeah. And most everything's really working pretty good. We're in pretty good shape. Very Looking forward good. to it. Very good. So that's pretty much it. We right? are anxious to hit the road. So... Hopefully you'll stay tuned. And yeah, part time it is good. We love the house, but we're ready to get on the road. <laughs> so until we see you guys again next time, keep them wheels rolling. Stay safe. And we'll see you at the next exit, folks. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Uh, camping alone or camping with friends depends yes. on who the friends are. <laughs> if they're your friends. Yeah, so, but it, uh, and again, I will repeat myself. Depends on who my friends are.
long as